The sun came up a few hours later, and still no sign of help. Expecting somebody, Mr. Greer? Oh, just the weatherman. Uh, I don't want to be in the water if this wind gets any, any stronger. It may take two to pry open the hatch. It's encrusted with barnacles. How do you know that? Must be. All these years. It looked as though I'd have company. I hoped without the spear gun. while I struggled with the hatch. It was stiff and rusty, but I got it open without too much trouble. Stones were exactly where Andor said they would be. This was why Andor was willing to kill. They were worth millions. I started out of the hatch. The metallic bump on the deck meant one thing to me. Something was going on up there that could mean trouble. Then I remembered the spear gun I'd seen lying on the hatch. Now I got the picture. There was one way to avoid getting a spear shot through me. Come up fast. The spear missed. The girl swam for the surface. I had to stop her. If she got there first and alerted Andor, there'd be a bullet waiting for me when I got there. put Lisa where she'd be out of the way for a while. I tied her to the propeller shaft with her own tank harness. I figured Andor would be watching our air bubbles. That suited me fine. I'd give him plenty of bubbles to watch.
You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. The postcard cutter is on its way. It should reach you in 15 or 20 minutes. Fine, I'm waiting. Okay, Greer. Returning to base. 